that time. Thank mm -hmm. you. Uh, so now this is, uh, let's look at the big bundle of stuff. And, and here's the, uh, the red one is, you can identify it quite easily. That is the extruder heater. And you, you can trace it back there. You see it goes, you're familiar with that, we built it. So the extruder goes to D10. So the top two. Oh, let's get a flathead small screwdriver. Yeah, got one here. S small one like that. So this is in a, in a tool set. It's a small flathead, uh, small enough for these. So, so these are clamped down terminals. You have to unscrew it first. And since I know we're going to be using D9 as well, I'm going to unscrew that as well. So, so that's D10, D9, D8. D8 is the heat bed, which we don't have, so we don't use it. D9 is the blower fan, the print cooling fan, the, the large blower. Uh, but we, we'll start with this. Polarity does not matter on a heater. It's just a resistive element. Does not matter. So just put it into the, the hole. These red ones, these red ferrules here, they just fit. Uh, the white ones are a little smaller, but they're, the co they're color coded by size. Ferrules are the end, crimp ends, like feral migrants. <laughs> Different spelling. <clears throat> F-E-R-R-U-L-E -R -R -E for ferrules in electronics. <clears throat> Not like feral pigs, right? Right. Cool. Speaking feral. <laughs> feral migrants like these Polish people invading America and stuff. <laughs> okay, red ones. I remember we, the convention for that one is that's the blower, and you can check. Well, you can't really see because it's inside the wire room. But the red ones, we we did it knowing that they're gonna go in here. That's the blower D nine, uh, D nine. Uh, but when you're building these, you, you keep track like, okay, w which one did you connect it to on the other end? We know this is the blower, so let's do it. Uh, polarity does matter. So there's D9 is negative and plus. So plus is, uh, you can see the plus is the bottom one there. So plus, which one is plus here? Which one is the hot one? We, we, we take the orientation of taking the warm wire as the plus. Uh, yellow is hotter than white. Um, that's just a convention. We're just using the CAD5 cable, which is really convenient because then we have one like one part count on the cable requirements here. So we're just using CAT5 22 gauge stranded. Um, D9, so that's the blower. Polarity does matter. You can't see it because we hit it in a wire loom now. It's uh, but I did keep track of that before. And now it's documented here. So put them in, screw them down. That's that. What's, what else is left? We have these white ones. That's the cooling fan. Um, so on the extruder, we've got the, the heat sink fan. That's, that keeps the extruder cool. That goes, that's on all the time. That's, if you don't have this on, you will get a clog because you'll get that molten zone going too far up and you won't be able to push down. So the, the cooling blower, uh, cooling fan for the heat sink, it's on all the time, it has to be. Otherwise you'll get clogs. So now let's look at this plug here. There's plus, minus, plus, minus. So plus is red. Now here's where you have to put the two ferrules into the same connector. Uh, it's kind of tight, but you can get it in there. Okay, that, just tuck on it so it's, it's in there. Then the bottom one, get that in there. Great. Uh, what else is left in the whole bundle? We've got, that's the sensor, temperature sensor. And that goes into this right above the Z here. Uh, talk about orientation of the, this wire loom. I like to have it coming in like this. So now, for example, this wire is going to reach. Like if it's here, it's not really reaching. So maybe like put a zip tie here mm -hmm. or something like that. Um, but now we've got the thermistor that we can plug in. I'm going to plug it in. And you might want to put it in through like one of these back holes here like to make it 
uh, organize it a little neater, kind of hide the wires a little more. There's, but I'll draw draw that through and connect it to this leftmost. That's it says T zero, T one, and T two. Those are the three thermistor locations. So you put on a T zero right there. Polarity does not matter. Next one. Uh, what's the last one? So this is now the, the Z probe. You identify it. It's got the orange, blue, black. Then that's like an functions like an end stop. Uh, that's the Z end stop. It goes into the fifth of the, this set here. So count from the left one, two, three, four, five. <coughs> uh, green on top. And that's the fourth spot, so it's one over. That's the big bundle. That's that I think we covered everything there. Now, what else is left? Uh, pr uh, probably the what is this one? Oh, wait, we got an extra one, so then get rid of that one because we already have three of them. Don't need any more. Um, now, the end stops are the only outstanding thing. So, trace the one. So, the X end stop is on the extruder axis. So, that one. Let's let's draw it around. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine over there. Um, so the X one. X is going to be the first of this set here. And if you read it there, it says is, does actually say it does say end stops there. And the way it works, it's X, X, Y, Y, Z, Z, and it's X minimum, X maximum, referring to where it's at, like at the minimum position or the max position. On the X, it's minimum. It's, it's towards the zero point. Uh, if we put that stop on the other side, we would plug it into the second one. But here, it's the first one. It's the minimum position. So X minimum. Now, Y, the way it is, uh, because the orientation, uh, it's kind of hard to explain it, but Y is actually on a max, so it goes into the the fourth set of pins. So it's X, X, Y, Y, X, min, max, Y, min, max. It happens that the Y is on the max position, just the orientation we have here. Mm -hmm. uh, so th there you go. If you have different configurations of axes, you, you would put the end stops and wherever they happen to be. And you set that in a firmware, you just say, okay, that the end stop is in a minimum or maximum position. So that should, this should be good. Um, maybe now at this point, we can turn on the power again and we could probably get this to actually start doing things.